goodwill free yourself from high prices now that's correct in our goodwills but i've been watching some youtube lately and uh some of y'all's goodwills are super high and they're not freeing nobody from high prices but around here they still are so we're gonna go in here see what we can find to flip online for a profit finally we have one good golf club here actually looks like a couple we got the callaway mac daddy 2 grind left-handed club that's uh that's a find all day long then right here um i talk about this brand a lot the u.s kids golf there's newer versions or older versions this one's actually going to be a newer version and it has the height of the child that it would fit on here so ultra this is a 63 inch tall so they can almost use a full-size club but this one is from us kids and that's a another left-handed then right here there's another us kid so you know oh is that a nike no that is a nike that's a vrs nike hybrid yeah i have this is the better most clubs i found i'm stuttering because i'm getting excited because i have not found a good decent club in this goodwill in nine months like that's how long it's been all right the old health o meter 14.99 they really marked her down she started at 55.99 doctor scale i really was hoping that the scale at home would be lying yeah the scale at home's not lying so i think the scale's broken we're putting her back not a bad pickup here this is the little guy the revere wear c u zero two uh whistling tea kettle here and i have a big rule now that there can't be any dents in because i used to pick these up for three bucks and you know think that you know they'll sell with a dent they don't sell so now this just needs to be wiped down there is no dent it's actually in super super good condition the copper on the bottom looks really good this is made in china so it's not worth as much as the other ones are but still probably around 20 bucks plus shipping maybe 15 dollars plus shipping easy to ship easy to list because this one is a smaller one that's not too bad aptgo a really good brand right there and it's American Fishing Tackle Company. Uh, this is a long sleeve woman's V-neck extra small. Thing is, it has some stains on it, which is uh, not so good. But the this shirt is like you know probably a fifty dollar shirt, brand new. But in this condition, probably like fifteen bucks. They're five bucks here, so we'll have to leave it behind. If it didn't have stains, I would definitely pick it up. So we just got some insider information that they'll be putting out some new stuff. So I think we're going to dig our claws into here. We've never done this before. Usually we're in and out. We've already been here for like 30 minutes. So we might stay in here for like another 30 minutes to 45 minutes to see what they put out. Oh, Lily Pulitzer. That thing looks all doily up. Size 8. It's got some staining around. No, maybe not. I think it's just the, the lighting, actually. It's actually not too bad. Rack number 2. And, uh... Grand style thing is that's a Vero all day long on uh, on eBay. They Vero these things super super fast, so not much of a. What are these parachute pants? The color is sea jade. Huh? No. <laughs> this could be for your '90s party. Oh, there's a big stain on the butt. Probably put that one back. Definitely the Lily's good, right? Yeah. Alright, that's good. What do we got? What do we got? Yeah, this is definitely Kayla's style. So um, I was like, dude, I can't believe you actually looked at it and went by really? it. Yeah. And I was like, I can't believe she won't pick that up. It's like a little patch thing. You can wear that one go. Oh, we've actually never. Oh, you uh, what? My arms are too big. Too big. <laughs> <laughs> well, you would show off your bracelets then. I don't know. Yep. It's a large though. I wonder why the arms are so short. I don't know, but this one's so. For sure. I know. It's, gonna, it's cool looking. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. I snagged something that was decent. On. Could be trendy. I could, I could be trendy. All right. So the idea of staying here so far has been a great idea. Hunkering down because now look at this. They just brought this out too. Bose. Okay. Oh, yeah. I didn't even see that. Yeah. It doesn't have the, um, the power cord. And the worst thing about this one is that it has to be a iPod. So this is actually not worth a whole bunch of money. We'll look it up. It's also in like super bad condition, but it does come with the remote, which is pretty good. They want $7.99 for it. So we'll put this one down. And then Kayla found this. This is a Panasonic. This might be a good one because see right there where it says HDD and DVD and it says recording. That's pretty good. So we'll have to look this one up and we'll just look it up through that number. 
And then she, they brought this big bad boy out. Uh, yeah, this is like a, I don't know what this is. Input, output. It's some sort of thing with knobs. Got a lot of knobs. I only want six bucks for it, which is pretty cool. We just looked these up. You did super, super good. They're asking seven bucks for this, and this is a recording. Uh, combo unit, like I said, whenever you see the recording, it has all those numbers right there. That means it can do different things. This one, 150 bucks all day long. Then this is an amplifier going for six bucks. There are some listed, but there is one sold for 115 free shipping. Hopefully it works. How heavy is it? Oh, she's she's got some weight to her. Uh, that's the worst thing about free shipping is, uh, I don't know about that. Even for six bucks, this thing probably weighs like 30 pounds. Shipping, if it goes to California for us, that's a $40 shipping fee. We might put this one back. But definitely um, a really good grab if you needed one, for sure, because it's only $6. But I think we're going to put this one back just because the shipping rates nowadays are out insane. But this one right here, this is the best combo unit we have ever found, ever, in a, in a Goodwill. I think the most I've ever found was like 80, 80 bucks. But this one blows that one out of the water. Good job. Thank you. Crazy on them. That's pretty cool. I think they're just handmade. These are like New Orleans made. Is on there? Some of these, yeah. That one right there is wild. That reminds me of the... Look at this one. Oh yeah, that's cool. Look at this one. Oh, that's cool too. This one says New Orleans. It says made in China on the back. in China, New Orleans. I'll switch the sides. If I was still in the business, I would have bought them out. They're neat though, especially the uh... Except for the ones made in China. Yeah. Made in China. I think these are the, the little ones. I don't know, that one's not. What do y'all think? And these things are like porcelain. This one says jazz. I don't know, I might have to take a picture of one. Look at this one back here. That's oh, that's got a crazing on it. <laughs> Gotta take a picture of this. Clay art ceramic face. eBay. Vintage. In stock. Mardi Gras. They're asking 26 bucks. I don't know if they sell for that much though. We might just pick out the cool looking ones. Like that one. I mean, that says hand painted in New Orleans. Uh, they go on the end of your curtain rods. Do they glass? They're expensive too. I don't know. I think these are good, honestly. All right. So now that we know, 127 sold. Oh wow, these things sell pretty good. 33. They definitely sell better when they're um. Like that one right there is porcelain by San Francisco. This is my type of uh, my type of globe. It's got all the dinosaurs. Yeah. What was in uh, this guy? Where was the old raptors at? There's Stegosaurus up there. Tyrannosaurus Rex. I mean, there's a bunch of cool dinosaurs here. Look at these guys. That's pretty cool. What type of globe is this? Seven dollar $7 globe. globe. Another little interesting. We're finding all types of cool little interesting things. Took us a while to figure out what this was. If you all know what it is, real quick, pause it, write it down in the comments section. What is this? Who knows? Oh, I see what you did there. See what I did there? Who knows <laughs> what this is? Again, write it down below. We just figured it out. I'll give you five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. It is Picasso's nose glasses holder eyeglass holder went for $17.99 and I won two bucks for it so we'll definitely pick it up but that is a really good who would have knew who would have known who would have known I'm telling you they're just putting out like really randomly nice cool things right we have these really cool switchblade covers that look all like hand painted and stuff there's two of them in here um there's not a price on them though I think this probably gonna be like 99 cents maybe so I don't know but that's pretty cool Good little pickup again. 
We're this this is an eclectic looking cart we got going on here. Yeah. So I came back because they're dropping so much stuff, but look what they just brought out. Look what they brought out. It's the Bose charger for what we have. Now they're asking $299 for the Bose charger. And they're asking seven six ninety nine for that. But the thing is is that the, like this charger is like super important to have with that. So all together, what is that, like 10 bucks? 10 bucks and it goes for around $80. That's pretty good. But they also just brought out this. Now these are one of those things that is kind of confusing why it's worth so much money. It's just a Yamaha Natural Sound Compact Disc Player. Just plays CDs, it's a CD player. It's a C this might be the one from The Wedding Singer. That could be why it's worth so much money. Uh, the thing is, they're asking seven bucks for it and the uh, the remote alone goes for 14 free shipping, so that would if nothing else works, so you're still making money on that, just you know a couple bucks. But I think they're they're listed for 199 dollars. One sold for 86. I'll put it on for like a, you know 100 bucks if it works. That's not too bad. These down here, these Sony guys are are notorious for me. Not they they just don't work. And for parts, you can't get a whole bunch of money for them, so we're gonna leave that one behind. But we will definitely pick this bad boy up for a couple hundred dollars. You just picked up yourself a whole bunch of hair clips for six bucks. Look how many hair clips are in this bad boy. You can't beat that, it's a butterfly. I and, and a petal. Rack number 420 they've brought out since we've been here. It's not too bad, we just got a new pair of Levi's. This Nike's neat. Cause I don't know the difference between an old Nike and a new Nike. I think a, uh... that's pretty nice, yeah. The old ping extra extra large extra extra large and ping is always good called sensor cool i don't think so unless it's old but this is a red tag i don't know what that means made in malaysia it's a nice little hoodie pretty cool that was a brand new pair of express jeans i don't know if that's good or not right Brand spanking new pair, classic low rise boot cut. I oh, don't you know what that means. You, you put him back. I did. But why? Mm. Why did you put me back? He said, thanks for bringing me home. Thanks for bringing me home. <laughs> Thank you. Not a lot of hats in the hats bin, but saw this one from a mile away. Um, these right here are always a pick up. In the store, they're like 90 bucks. These are the Tilly hat. So always gonna look out. If you see anything that looks like that, definitely always try to pick them up. Easily 30 to 40 bucks, depending on exactly what it is. This one's neat too. I've never seen this one before. The cooler bar. I don't know about that. We'll have to look that one up. Sunshade hat. This thing's actually a really nice hat. You know, when you got a bald head, you really gotta pay attention to the hat and the sun situation. That's a nice looking hat, sunshade. I don't know. So I found this canvas Calvin Klein bag, and it looks like it's in pretty good condition. We got a cough drop in there. But as far as any like, marks, I got a little mark right there, but I can probably get that off. But it is a very nice little shoulder bag. Calvin Klein. What do you got? Tilly hat. So I'm pretty sure that that was like one of the best trips we've had in a while. Everything that we just bought right here was only $125. If you remember the Panasonic combo unit will go for about 150 to put just directly in the profit. That means everything else other than that is in the profit. So that I think is a deal of a deal so everybody in here knows what we do and they're like stick around people are running late today and they even said if you get there too early at the goodwills i'm pulling out a secret here that we are actually learning she said if you get it too early nowadays at the goodwill nothing's being put out on the shelf yet they usually wait what time we get here about 10 o'clock maybe the early bird does not get the worm when it comes to goodwill we don't know we do appreciate everybody watching so remember if you're not subscribed if you would subscribe comment down below like the video and you know i will always get you on the next one I want to go ahead and thank Nick from Nick Knack 88s. Thank you so much. You would not believe that these are my first real vintage Jurassic Park. See, the, the originals obviously on the bottom also say 1993, but they have the JP and usually a number after them. It's kind of hard to see. But uh, these three are vintage ones. He's also vintage, but these are Jurassic Park. I much appreciate it. These are my first ones. They will be in my collection forever. So thank you so much, Nick. Again, from Nick Knack 88. I do appreciate it. Look.
Did you did you see our good will finds? You did? Did you see them? Look at all the good will finds we got. She said that it is nice. That's some good good will finds. Good time taking a nap. <laughs>